because too many uh, people too many people spinning out, so they just close it. Damn it! Uh, Why did it get cold? It started snowing out of nowhere. I mean, it was raining, but then. So here's number two. We got a little bit ahead of notice on uh, what we're getting. This one's packed pretty freaking tight, man. Look at that shit. We gotta pull forward a little bit to close this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ugh. Where did all the cold come from? Fuck that. Where did all the sun go? <laughs> yeah. These two are related. All right. We're going to get this one, I think, empty as fast as we can. I'm going to make a little bit of space in just a sec here for you guys. And I think I'm just, I'm taking my pictures. I'm vomiting these out as fast as I can. I ain't going to bother doing anything with them tonight because, uh, Man, that cold caught its ass up. Yeah. So anyway, this is actually directly the next container from the last one. Same distributor. God, those lines down there make it so easy to back up. Look how close, look how perfect that is. Um, except we probably can't raise the... Oh yeah, I know that, but... No, <laughs> like that's so, it's so dead on that the, it's, the bumper didn't even hit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah anyway it's it's tonight after the last container and uh we're looking at you know another one this one's the first of two or three that are gonna have a whole ton of shit for for shows we'll probably see all this stuff at level up a bunch of uh, a bunch of the the unique stuff um at the end here there's a gold tekken <gasps> Tekken 7 Noir. This is probably the one that we're finally going to keep. Uh, a couple years ago, we kept one. Um, sold the other. Have been regretting it ever since. Um, yeah, go ahead and let's see. Yeah, just back a bit. Keep coming. Coming. And stop. Let's drop that down. And then, actually, you know what? That's good. That's... This one's a little lower. Yeah, this is great. Let's leave it here. Oh, that's perfect. We were just talking on the last one about how, you know, they, they did the floor here. They did the ground, and uh, this one's, yeah, this is a lot better. Anyway, let's get this guy some money so he can go get some food. And uh, I'm going to do my crawl so that we can get the out of here. And that's the most important one of them all. Yeah. You, got a restroom I use or... you betcha. You can take that as well. You want to guide the man? Here, here, here. Uh, all right. Beautiful. All right. Let me get right in here and uh, get this over with. So, let's see. Container processes. You're good. <laughs> if a container gets held for customs, we'll usually know before it even comes in if it's going to get held. And if it gets held, it'll either get scanned or, you know, they might they might just pass it up real quick or something like that. I mean, not pull it. But um, in one time we did it, they pulled and um, pulled the container aside, did a did a full scan and everything. They take it to like a different location. Um, and that all comes out of pocket. You have to pay for the storage, the, the work, all that stuff. Sometimes they'll unload it part way and stop. Sometimes they'll unload it all the way. I don't know. But that's just one of those things that you have to, you have to expect. So first here we've got two. Uh, these are our EX verses that we're actually keeping. Uh, these are uh, Grigios. Got some diamond oranges here. There's two Bishiboshis, the Bishiboshis in here. Um, like I think 12 Wakas. I think this is the first of like the kind of the start of the flood. The the real flood will be coming in two months or so, but okay, let's see how we can get in here. Anyway, we we were told basically in our first two or three containers, you're pretty much guaranteed to get scanned because you know you're a new importer. After that, you know, after you get used to it, as long as you don't really change things up, you're not, like, changing all the stuff that's in the container and, like, 
bring in a bunch of new things, then, uh, you know, you don't get scammed again so much. Fuck. Can't reach that light. Damn it. Damn it. Ugh. If you're watching this, I hope this isn't your walk up. <laughs> Actually, I think one of these is actively labeled as my waka. As one of my show wakas, so whatever, I don't know. But yeah, there's a bunch of wakas on this one. We've got the you know full set of Gundam EX versus for, for ourselves for shows, or EX versus twos. Um, I had to sell my, well, I didn't have to, but I shipped out my gun bullet X, you know, to, to get an order fulfilled. So this one replaces it. Um, this is the first of the last few Tycos I mentioned last time. I'm starting to keep them. This one we're keeping. There's two more coming. I think we're keeping right down the middle there. There's this whole bunch of Wakas. There's some Puras threes, I'm sorry, Puras threes along the side there. Um, we've got a Poogie Race. This is the first one again, keeping. A lot of stuff that we're finally keeping again, uh, that we've had for a long time, or been getting for a long time. And uh, our first, for sure. But, uh, yeah, Poogie Race, very happy to be keeping this one. Okay. Whatever I'm standing on ain't good. Uh, sometimes it's hard to... Figure your way and figure your way through. So here we've got a Gitadora drum and a Gitadora guitar back there. Um, it's been a long time since I've gotten any of these. Um, God, there's just nothing to stand on in this part. I'm sorry. Like, <clears throat> but it's the first white Gitadoras we've gotten in a while. I've been wanting these because they're a lot more ergonomical than when we have to move stuff often. I like to be able to fit more games on a truck, so those will be good. I'll probably at some point get a full-size set as well, you know, depending on the show and be flexible. And actually, these are probably candidates for what I'm actually going to put in my game center because I don't have space otherwise. Um, end of end of the day, these are probably going to go there. But for now, they're good for show cabs as well. Back here, I think that's Shootaway Pro. They've been offered to me for a while, and it's not something I've really wanted because there's no reason to bring it out. I bring five trucks worth of games and still, you know, have games left over. So, but like when we're starting to do like eight truck shows, which is starting to come up, and we maybe do two of those a year, that's like might be the only time that we'll use it. But, uh, you know, it still means we need it. And, uh, so, anyway, Shootaway Pro, it's like, it has a large projector screen, and it's a, like a ski shooting simulator. Um, we'll do a video on it. There's the other Dencha. This is, a, this replenishes ours. There's a My My DX there, which is not ours to keep yet. Uh, that one's going out, but um, we will have one later. Um, it's actually looking incredibly difficult to get any farther back so i'm probably not going to there's our first white ddr in a very long time right there um and i can't see what's behind shoot at them actually i'm not really not sure i guess you'll see in the pictures because i ain't gonna try and it's so cold and and everyone's tired i fucking i just woke up to to come out to this container like just haven't had a lot of good sleep but um yeah, I'm just gonna get this unloaded and that way we can just get out of here. So, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get to work. I'll see you in the next container at the, in a couple days. I remembered right when we, when I got back out of the container, what was uh, in the back that I was trying to figure out, and it's this VR Sense. I saw this in Japan in 2019 in one arcade never seen it since they found us one i wasn't even asking it just happened to come up really fortunate but uh, yeah this was just the thing in the back and i just wanted to show it since you know, while we're doing this container obviously this we're going to do a video on but uh it's pretty cool it's a koei tecmo vr arcade game it's got a couple games there's only three listed on the back here but the fourth one i think is supposed to be a horror game um and i think there's another one that had more like 
big name franchise on it, but like, I, I guess it's really rare. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. And uh, that's, that's the, the end of this container. We just finished it out. Tired. Uh, we're there. See you next time.